So we have this simple website where we can verify our student identity and we can only upload image files like jpg, png or gif. In this video we will try to upload a malicious backdoor to take full control over the server. This is the bypassed CTF challenge of Pico CTF. So first let's try to upload a normal picture to see how the website works. So first I'll click on browse. In my desktop I can see my png picture. I'll select it and click on open and click on upload id and I can see our file has been uploaded and we can access our picture here. So if I click on this link, I can see we have our picture. Now that we understand how this website works, let's try to upload our backdoor. So I'll search for something like simple web shell. Click on the first GitHub link. Here I can see the code of the web shell. Let me copy this. In my desktop directory, create a file called shell.php and paste the code I just copied. Save the file and quit the file. Now I can see the file has been created. Let's try to upload this. So I'll click on browse, select my shell.php file and click on open. And if I click on upload ID, I can see it says not allowed. Let me rename this file. So I will right click and click on rename. And after shell.php, I will add .png so that the server thinks this is a PNG file. This is a very common filter bypass technique and if I click on rename, I can see the file has been renamed. So let's upload it again. I'll click on browse, select my file and click on open. And now if I click on upload ID, I can see it's a successfully uploaded and we can access our file here. So let me click on this link and now it says it cannot be displayed because it contains errors. If I check the hints, I can see it says Apache can be tricked into executing a non-php file as a php file with the file .ht access. So in our case, the non-php file is our file right here and we want it to execute as a php file. So I'll search for something like .ht access. I want to convert a png file as php and in the AI overview, I can see this is the code. So let me copy this, create a file called .htaccess and paste what I copied, save it and quit. And now I can see the .htaccess file has been created. Let me upload my .htaccess file. So here it is. I'll click on open and click on upload ID and it has been uploaded. Let's now see if we can access our shell without any error. So in the URL, I'll type images because my backdoor is in the images directory and the name of my file which is shell.php.png so I'll type it here shell.php.png now I can see we can execute command directly on the server so let me first type ls and now I can see we have two files the files I uploaded let's try to find the flag so I'll type the command find I want to search the file from the root directory so forward slash and I will specify the name of the file and I want to list all the files that ends in .txt and press enter and here we have permission denied error. We do not need to care for this. If I scroll down, I can see at the bottom of the page, we have the flag.txt file and this is the full path. So let me copy this cat and paste the full path and I can see we found the flag. Let me copy this paste it and click on submit flag and I can see we're correct. So we're going over the web exploitation CTF challenges of Pico CTF. If you want to follow along, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.